What's my weight? It's important to check before you fly. What many people don't know is the um, advanced compressed bag. You see it's down there. If you just touch here, and then you step on the bag gently, gently, you lift your wing up, give it a second just to calibrate. There you go. Have I got toys for you? So I'm going to try out the Epsilon 9. I'm going to try it with three different harnesses today so you can get an idea of how that changes the feeling on the glider. Um, you might have one of any of these setups. So we're going to try with the easiness. So that's a really compact, a reversible harness. Makes your kit really light. We're going to try with the uh, Success 4. So that's a really good solid harness with lots of back protection, really nice upright harness. And we also tried with the Lightness 3. So that gives you a more of a racing kind of cross country harness setup. Um, and you'll see it changes the overall weight quite a bit. So it's important to decide how you matching this wing with the rest of your gear so that you know where you are in the weight range. It's a mid B glider. If I'm going to fly two kilograms over the top of the weight range on a mid B glider, it's still going to be a mid B glider. It's not going to dramatically change the safety parameters on the wing, but it's not officially certified beyond that weight. So the ideal wing for me would be the next size up so that I'm in the weight range. Um, but for testing purposes, let's see what it does. Um, and when I'm on the easiness three, I'll be in a nice place in the weight range. So that's fine. I'll do most of my reviewing with that harness in that weight. Let's check it out. Lightness three. So this is with a success harness. You need a bigger bag because the harness is bigger. So there's more weight with the bag and you've got a bigger harness with more protection. Easiness too. You can tell I like this setup. It's a split leg reversible harness. I've got a reserve in there. All of the setups I've had with a reserve and with my flying jacket and my camera and my helmet. Everything's in there. It's a complete setup so that you can compare the weights. Um, this is remarkably compact but you know you'll have a different feeling in the three harnesses so let's take the Epsilon up into the air. I'll do the review on the three different harnesses and you can see maybe there's a difference in feeling. I don't know. Let's find out. lift off. Conditions are very strong and they're a bit lumpy. can already feel it's got a very responsive turn. I'm using a small amount of brake input there and I'm getting a very nice 360. So personally I love this feeling. I love the, the wing that responds and it doesn't need a lot of muscle to get it to turn tight. Nicely, fairly stable, nice descent rate, I speed it up a little bit on half bar, still very nice, releasing the ears, come out on their own. See the other gliders are moving around quite a lot, it's quite gusty, um, feeling the wing is not pitching much. Got a little bit of pitch energy there it was going forward but it's holding itself together in a very balanced fashion you can see there the range of motion i'll try and keep it steady and look up i'm not going to do anything in the brakes now i'm just going to fly through this sort of 
mild turbulence and you can see the sort of movement you're getting on the wing not much in pitch a little bit in yaw and roll but that's to be expected that's the, the air conditions so it's holding itself together very nicely in the choppy air I'm not feeling like I'm getting any changes in energy, you know, lots of retained energy and lots of speed that I have to then manage. It's kind of averaging things out. So that's the leading edge. No acceleration. And this is the leading edge on full bar. My toes are right out on the bar. using the back risers just to catch the glider a little bit that's a clean and efficient feeling I mean lumpy air and it's not feeling scary hardly having to do much on the pitch it's a gentle acceleration I'm gonna test out that spin on the corner so we do a 180 degree turn I'm gonna climb out I'm not gonna put too much brake on the inside let it spin a bit Oh, that's very, very easy. Let's do it again. Spin it to there. And um, it's wanting to sort of mildly go into a spiral turn. Do it again. There on the corner, a bit of a spin. It's very nice. No problems there. So slow flying, cornering, particularly good good resistance to spin nice and responsive okay so that first flight was on the uh, success that one flying in pretty windy conditions um, I can't really tell you the comparison I'll let me fly on the other harnesses now and see if the feeling changes I can let you know what the difference is it feels very cool and it feels very similar to the Epsilon 8 so far so I presume it's just been refined and cleaned up. Probably flies a little bit cleaner, a little bit more glide. But uh, it's the same wing, same class. Feels nice, easy. Thanks to Phil, we've got some nice aerial footage there of um, swooping around on the Epsilon 7. Thanks Phil. Always good to have some team pilots around. And uh, this is the Lightness 3. So that um, gives you a slightly different feeling in the air definitely. You don't feel like you're sitting on that big seat plate of the success. Um, feel slightly less of the movements of the glider actually in the Lightness. but. Um, Let's get up in the air and uh, we'll talk we'll talk a little bit more once we're up there. Just leaning back. Lovely launch on that. Super nice launching like that. Just letting the brakes go and letting the glider come up on its own. Cool! So now in the lightness, it's quite a different feeling, eh? Um 
how to analyze this. I would say there's some, there's more of a delay um, in the, the movements. Uh, it really does feel like I'm, I'm flying in a, a very long boat. If you know what I mean. You're not, you're not getting those immediate reactions of the wing. I can feel them, but then the energy um, gets transmitted into the harness and the harness has got a kind of a delay, a slightly wallowy, slowing down feeling. Um, it's very nice, it's very mellow. So it changes the feeling of the glider, definitely. Um, the wing immediately feels less low aspect actually, it feels less um, like a little go-kart which you get when you're on a seat plate and you get that direct feeling of this little wing and you're going zip zip around um, because this has got no seat plate it's like I've got some sort of shock absorbers that's the word I was looking for this whole harness is a shock absorber so it's like you're driving um, a saloon car as opposed to uh, a rally car um, you get these carving movements I'll show you the likeness there and uh, definitely smoothens things out turning into the corners more gentle so that's quite interesting if you're finding that you you know you're getting um, maybe unnerved by bumpy turbulent conditions it might have something to do with the seat plate and the harness that you're flying um, and this lightness 3 smoothens things out Okay, having said that, this sort of thing's not for everybody because you've got more of this sort of delayed yaw. I'll show you like this. Okay, I'm gonna swing a bit like that. You've got this sort of yaw that happens with your feet because your feet are pointing out in front of you. They've got weight, your boots are out there or your shoes, your big heavy feet are swinging backwards and forwards and it takes a bit of experience to get used to pushing on the seat plate uh, I'm putting pushing on the foot plate so down at the bottom left and right to equalize and level out steady up that yaw so it takes a little bit of uh, experience to be able to do that comfortably and remove that movement from your flying you really need to fly this sort of a harness on the foot plate You've got a full weight and you need to set it up right so that your your feet are nicely um, balanced and strong on that foot plate then you get the advantage of the harness which is that smooth feeling of really nice calm control cool guys so now we're in the easiness Let's give it a try. Happy little lightweight feeling. to get the bar on this I remember this feeling you kind of sit up like a little monkey and then push out on the bar and this harness is quite nice it's holding me towards the base of my spine it's quite nice I probably want to do the straps up a little bit here that's quite easy to do in flight gives it a slightly better feeling Bit more contact with the back of the harness that's nice and i can probably 
put you in there. Woo, you upside down. All right, there we go. Even a little bit more. That's quite nice. So it's a more um, compact feeling, you know, this, the seating position in this. I'm feeling like I'm um, kind of sitting up to dinner. Um, I'm more upright than the other two. And you can see there that with the split leg, I'm getting lifted one side or the other, depending on which way the wing is lifting. Now that's quite cool for you to learn which side the thermal is. Um, it's not as, it's funny, it's not, it's a slightly softer feeling than um, the success where you've got the seat board because it's still got some shock absorber in it because it's a soft feeling but it's a separated feeling left and right good contact with the wing this way I'm feeling it, I'm getting that sort of the wing now feels like this with the split leg like one side and then the other side you definitely feel like the wing becomes two wings connected um, it's still nicely smooth and comfortable I think this is a very comfortable position for shorter flights for scenic flights coming down from a big mountain or something like that but for a long cross country um, I think it's just it's not going to be as comfortable as a success for with your feet out on the stirrup or definitely not as comfortable as the lightness. So I'm trying to analyze for you what the feeling of the wing is. You can see I'm, I've got more of that roll with the, uh, the split leg. On the pitch axis, the glider still feels the same. It's very steady and it doesn't seem to be yawing the harness kind of matches the wing movement and this is quite a good position for any kind of SRV or any um, collapse scenarios because you're already sitting up and your weight is nicely close to the risers not back where you can swing the amazing thing with this um, easiness setup is the back of my harness here I've actually got nothing in here I've got lots of space to carry stuff, so if you're doing some sort of hors or adventuring, it actually gives you quite a lot of packing space in the back while you're flying. But you are fully exposed, so you're probably going to have to wear more clothing to compensate for the lack of a, of a speed bag. But I certainly love how compact the whole setup is. And the wing feels very nice with this harness, very pleasant. I am aware of the lower protection with this harness. I've got an airbag, but it'll do something. It's not as good as the Success 4 protection. All right, so we're going through some rough air now because the wind's off to the north. You can see that got hardly any penetration this way so it's probably about 30 on the nose which means it's likely to kick off some turbulence off this little ridge in front and the tree line you really get a feeling with this harness that you can pull one leg down and it's connected directly to the riser that you're leaning on so you kind of you get more weight shift input even than a seat board like that particularly if I'm just touching my thumb against the riser and I'm using that to push away it's not pulling it's pushing away the force is this way that gives you 
quite a big weight shift effect. More than enough for thermaling. This little harness is also very nice for adjusting in the air because the straps, the strength bearing strap is on the inside and the, the adjusting straps on the outside. You'll see there, the adjusting straps on the outside. So it's not such a thick piece of webbing that's going through the, the strap, through the buckle. Okay, I'm really enjoying this harness. Um, it is a little bit of a, you, you do feel a bit like a monkey. Um, you're kind of like sitting in a little, a little chair um, with your legs drawn in. But it's a very easy position, comfortable position. I've now got into uh, a very comfortable position with the bar. My legs are relaxed. Um, I could fly for hours like this, not a problem. I am fully in the window and I can feel um, I'm cooling down. But I can feel the wing. And in terms of uh, feedback from the wing, um, <laughs> so this might actually be the most useful one in terms of feedback. I can feel the wing pulling left and right, which is really what you want to know. Um, you can feel it directly, immediately. If I'm just holding the brake there, right, there's zero brake, there the brake is taking, down to the carabiner, look at that turn. And you see the quickness. I can actually do a 360 just with that little turn at the carabiner. That's very responsive. I think that's the most responsive in the class in terms of the quickness of the turn. Um, because of that, I think you've got to be careful that you don't sell this wing to pilots that are too new. Um, I think ideally you want to go onto the Alpha first after school, fly that for a year so that you develop the sensitivity. You can really turn, respond quickly and just follow those tiny little bits of lift without needing a lot of brake pressure. If you just let it go and you leave it, uh, it's very balanced. It does tell you what the air is doing left and right. Bear in mind I'm also in the split leg harness so it's giving me more of that feeling. But you certainly feel which side of the wing is going into lift. It doesn't have much pitch energy forward. I don't feel like I'm having to hold it back. And if I'm going on bar, accelerating it, it's very smooth, steady. Went through some lumps there and the wing held itself together nicely. And you can use a little bit of the back just to hold it back, just on those little pitches that you get. So here's the brake, there it's taking already, and this is my thermaling turn, I'm putting it down to the carabiner, you look at the speed of this turn, a really fast 360, I mean that's a really good thermaling turn, <laughs> it's really tight, you do have to be careful, if you're an inexperienced pilot, and you put in a little bit too much cornering, you can see how quickly see how quickly you're going into a spiral. Okay, maybe something that could be reined back a little bit for the mid B class. Um, so it's suited to pilots that have got feel and uh, good judgment and aren't uh, going to panic and put in too much input. Having said that, the spin resistance is pretty good and it's very mellow if it does spin, so that's not an issue of actually turning too tight and getting the wing to slip, it's no problem. And it's very resistant and very mellow for the stall point, so again, no problem, no fuss, very easy. I like it, it's a kind of wing that I enjoy flying, 
it's going to be suited to pilots with a bit of finesse. Thanks again to our patrons. Really appreciate your support. If you'd like to get behind the channel, pop over to Patreon, see if you can support us a little bit, helps us develop better content for you. Otherwise, pop over to the shop, pop, where you can get amazing gear and good service too. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your attention and I will see you in the next episode. Woo! Time to play. Is that thing still on? Nah, it doesn't look like it. So now I can do something irresponsible. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, loving that sound. <laughs>